everybody, what's going on? If you have time to get to a computer, do so and follow me. I'm going to show you a website that I used to go to um, a lot when I first started. I haven't been on this site in a while. But it has a lot of information that is valuable for reptile owners. Let's see here. And the website, some people may know, but a lot of people don't know. It's B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L Dragons. on this site and they have a bunch of information that is useful um, is is general generally speaking about bearded dragons but it's a lot of stuff that goes for multiple different type of websites um, they do nutritional content so you can go on on here and find the nutritional value of each insect that you're feeding the vegetables and everything So yeah, I'll tell you what to feed as a daily staple, right there, green daily staple, black feed occasionally, blue feed rarely, yellow is questionable, red never, so, so yeah, my alfalfa is in the green, you can feed that daily. Alfalfa, apple, apricot, artichoke, heart, arugula, asparagus. You can feed all those daily. Now we're in the blue avocado. You can't feed it. Banana is in the blue, and it says to feed rarely because it has pretty much because it has sugars. And then and all of these things, it has the percentage of proteins and things like that that I have inside of it. So, if you're looking for different things to feed and you're not sure about it, this will be a good chart to go check out. It'll tell you all the details on each of the items and if you can't feed it or shouldn't feed it. So, let me go back here. I just wanted to... Places it have it has health, health different problems, brumation, it goes into brumation, dissecting, uh, disinfectants. I used to buy F10 from this website to clean my cages before I switched to the other uh, cleaner. MBD, talk about mice, mouth rot, par paralysis. Sometimes it could be food related, too big of a food, pushing against like Pushing against the spine. Uh, go. I got another um, place here that talks about MBD, metabolic bone disease, in a little bit more detail. Talks about yellow fungus, general care, DSL fecal testing. I I play with um, debating on getting the because they sell they sell um, the full kits like the microscope and everything. I played I, I play about getting one, but I never got around to doing it. I may do that this year. Um, homemade platforms. What is this? I, know, I don't know what that is. Oh, homemade like cages, I guess. Yeah. People sending in pictures of projects and stuff. You probably got the details on how you can make them yourself. Let's see. Yep. Got all the steps on making your own little platforms on here. So it's a wealth of information on here. This is like YouTube before YouTube. This will give you like step-by-step -step, uh, details and writing. There's a lot of people doing this uh, things on on YouTube now. So this site probably not as used as it used, used to be used. But it still has a lot of uh, information. Uh, they have a store here. You can, they sell medicines. Different types of medicines. Like if you go on, if you tap on the different type of medicine it's able to use for, they come in different sizes. 
then on most of the medicine it's gonna have like a dosage chart that one don't have it let me see if it's another one B Cox and say what the medicine is used for has been used for many years in Europe and other countries for coccidia. So that's medicine is for coccidia, which is a uh, disease in the gut to give them like diarrhea and stuff like that. So it affects the GI tract. Oh, uh, see, and has the low dose to just have a high dose and a low dose dose chart for reptiles. Wait, weigh your reptile in grams and use the chart below to figure out how much to give orally every two days. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I got a disclaimer on here somewhere that say to see a vet first or something like that. Or, or this, this medicine is not intended for for you not to go to a vet or some type of disclosure like that. He used to have something like that on here. But yeah, I just wanted to bring this uh, website to you guys. They have a whole bunch of different things you can go to. If you want to read some inspiring stories about people res rescuing animals. Had different um, people that post their stories on here on rescuing bearded dragons and so and different reptiles. And stories, inspiration, inspirational stories. You can adopt a reptile on here. You are interested in adopting a bearded dragon or other reptile from us? Please ask yourself a few questions. So you're probably gonna have to be prepared to do to do that. I uh, got got some photos on here with the dragon's name. So like, yeah, this is a very good website. Got growth charts on here, so that's nice. So if you got a dragon, you know how old it is. You can go to here and see approximately what size it's supposed to be. Got 18 weeks, I got some of this 11 and 1 8 inch, 11 and a half inch, 11 and 3 quarters, 19 weeks. Okay, that's a cool little chart right there if you want to look into that. We'll see how on here. Project UVB, they probably discuss different types of UVB. This is from bulb. So I guess they did a research on the measurements of the bulbs, how much UVB is putting it out and from different distances. So if you want to know more about that, you can just go on here and read the details. Got a bunch of information on here. Different type of disinfectants that you can use. Reduce level. And the different um, words. Antiseptic, disinfectant, sanitized, sterilized. So fungicide kills fungi, bacteria. Bac bactericide kills bacteria. Sterilized to eliminate all micro microbes by inactivating or killing them. Sanitized to reduce the number of microbes to... A safe level. See, I didn't even know that. I thought cleaning was cleaning. There's different types of cleaning you can do. Jules K. K. Page. Jules K. Page. Food. Oh, and this got get like different feeding instructions on what they should have. Yeah, so there you guys go. Anybody that's new to dragons or need some help, this would be the perfect website for you guys. There's unlimited amount of things you can learn from here. And again, uh, the website is Beautiful Dragons. Just type it in in Google. It should be the first thing that pops up. Calculated dosages. If you have a different type of medicine, it probably has a dosage on here.
It's a very good website for you guys to go to. I uh, highly suggest you go in there if you need any information. Um, like the nutritional um, content is very good on here. I like this information. It gives you protein, fat, fiber, sugar, water. It's very good. It's uh, exactly what they're good for in this area right here. I don't know any other website. It might be some out there, but I don't know any other ones to do a complete breakdown of all the all the foods and what to and what not to feed. You got different plants that are safe for you can feed them, and these are proven safe, as you can see right there. Sorry about the silent times reading through that. Some of these. Cause I haven't, like I said, I haven't been on here in years. So some of this stuff has went out of my my mind. So pretty much just refreshing with you guys. I'm gonna go in here a little bit more and when, I, when I'm off the video and go into detail on some of this stuff. You probably see about getting another. See see about uh, getting those. I don't know where it is. I used to have it under here, I believe. Nope. Maybe they don't sell them anymore. They used to sell them microscopes. Come to medicine, life, you care. It even got a place there you can be information on keeping uh, crickets alive, I guess. Ease and care, easy and mildly challenging. Type of housing, feeding, put two shallow dishes. Yeah, you use like feeder care as well. That's good. Let's see if they got the microscopes in it in the store. Yep, I just did that one. So you can buy microscopes, the little slides, and everything. That's a pretty good price, one seventy, one seventy five. And then they have a card for the different parasites, so you can do fecal samples and then identify them. And I'm not getting paid for showing this website. I just think it's helpful for a lot of people. Supplements, foods, supplies. Let's see what type of supplies they carry. See, that's the one I used to buy, the F10. $21 for that, but you dilute it, so you get a lot of coverage out of it, a lot of use. Reptile Guardian Remote Monitoring System. Silky Scales. I think this is like for bat bathing them. Let me read that. I think you spray that on the skin so you clean them. Silky scales, sizes. May your first batch of beard is hatching. We are discovered that he has to. Oh, this for if you have bearded dragon, bearded dragons, and you produce silkies. That's the spray for them. I didn't know they had that. I haven't produced silkies in a couple of years because they're so difficult to keep hydrated and keep them doing good sheds. But that might be the solution right there. I'm gonna read more into that and. You might see me produce silkies again in the future, depending on if that convinces me or not. Yeah, this website is so cool. I can't believe I stopped coming to it. They sell foods. Yeah. Reptile pellets, $8 for a pound. That's pretty good. It's hard. I haven't got my dragons to eat these consistently. I have like a couple that will eat them. But most, for the most part, they won't eat them. They want to go live. They want live food or regular greens. But I'm going to try it again and see if I can get them uh, converted. Because I think that would be a good uh, substitute to live feeders for 
uh, certain times or to keep in a cage at all times so they can eat it as they want. Crazy Gecko Diet. So that's all I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to um, end this video. And then you guys can go on here and play with the website as much as you want and see if they have anything that interests you. Again, I don't get paid anything for showing you this website, but I do think they're doing an amazing thing with their website with all the products and things that they um, offer. Some of this stuff you can't find in local stores. They they even go into the sciences on how they um, diluted some of the stuff to make it legal to sell. Some of it is only by prescription, but the way they uh, mix it up, it makes it legal for them to sell. Um, so go over there and see if they have anything that is useful for you. Um, I know I'm going to continue looking at this website right now and seeing what I can uh, purchase right now if I need anything. All right, you guys have a good one. Hope this uh, video was helpful to someone. Um, like, subscribe. You guys have a good one.